The following is a production of the Atumwa Radio Group Sports Network. It's time for Atumwa Basketball on your news and information leader, 1240 AM and 102.7 FM KBIZ. Let's get you to the court with the voice of your Bulldogs, Jason Van Arkel. Atumwa High Basketball is on the air. Good evening, everybody. From nearby Fairfield tonight, Jason Van Arkel reporting. Annie Argo is the on-site video producer. Brandon Drew, the radio producer back at the KBIZ studios. And welcome into the first girls-boys basketball doubleheader of the 2021-2022 season as your Atumwa Bulldogs take on their old rivals, the Fairfield Trojans. Starting off with the girls, of course, and the boys to follow in the boys game will be Atumwa's season opener in boys hoops. As for the girls' matchup, Atumwa comes in at 0-3. They dropped their last decision that game against Southeast Polk on the road on Thursday, and uh, probably the less that's said about Thursday's game, the better. It's a tough night when an opponent not only outclasses you, but seems to want to go the extra mile to embarrass its opponent. And, well, you know, nobody would say anything publicly about it. I, I assure you that uh, the fact that Southeast Polk put its starters back in with about a 50-point lead with two minutes to go in the third quarter and didn't take them out until there were under five minutes to go in the fourth. That did not go unnoticed. Atoma's goal the past three days has been to erase the memory banks and focus on tonight, which is taking on Fairfield, their third Southeast Conference foe of the season. The Bulldogs will have starting point guard Olivia Corum back after she missed Thursday's game dealing with a nagging leg injury, and that should help OHS improve in the turnover department. That's been the biggest issue for OHS in their 0-3 start. Fairfield, they come in at 1-1. One one. A year ago, they were 11-9. Their head coach is Pat, I think it's Paha, P-A-C-H-A, maybe Pacha. Uh, he's 12-10 and 10, uh, now in his second season of coaching. And he has just about, or not just about everybody back, but most of his players back from last year. He ascended to the coaching job here at Fairfield in November of 2020, and he guided the Trojans to a 9-9 regular season last year, then a pair of postseason wins before they bowed out in the regional finals, just one win shy of state. This year, they returned three of their four top scorers, and a roster heavy with seniors is expected to compete for the Southeast Conference title. Fairfield began its campaign with a close loss to Oskaloosa, then they opened conference play by trouncing Washington last week. Delaney Breen has scored 20 points in each of the first two games. Sister Danielle Breen has been in double figures twice as well. And the Trojans cut their turnovers down from 21 in that opener to just nine in the win over Washington. Fairfield, a very experienced team. That's a big contrast to Ottumwa, which has played six freshmen on the season and has started two or three freshmen in every game through the first three. So Ottumwa and Fairfield, youth against experience tonight here in Fairfield. Two teams didn't meet a year ago. The pandemic uh, said, uh, wait till next year on that one. Even though both teams got a number of games in, the time when Ottumwa and Fairfield would have played each other, we're not able to get together. So it's kind of odd to not play Fairfield in a year, but the rivalry is renewed this year. All right, we're gonna take a three minute timeout, continue with the pregame show, the Bulldog pregame show. And when we continue, we will talk about the last time these two teams got together, which, which feels like a lifetime ago, honestly, at this point. But they did play a couple of years ago. We'll tell you how that went and how the series has gone in recent years on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Are you looking for someone to capture the special moments in life, such as senior photos, weddings, family portraits, baby pictures, or even your furry friends? Look no further than Lee's Photography in Ottumwa to schedule your appointment. Brian, Connie, and the staff at Lee's Photography have the knowledge and experience to capture your special moments and make your vision come to life. Visit them on Facebook to see the range of their work. Lee's Photography on East 2nd Street, across from the Courier in Ottumwa, for all your all-around photography needs. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. 
Cole Palace Cafe and Books invites you to stop in and try their real, not fast, fresh, never frozen, made-in-house menu, which is sure to satisfy. Start your day with their fresh brewed coffee or one of their specialty drinks and a delicious breakfast. Stop in for a cup of one of their homemade soups, a sandwich, or salad for lunch. Don't forget dessert. At Cole Palace Cafe and Books, your purchases help our neighbors with disabilities learn valuable job skills. Check out their gently used books while you wait. That's Cole Palace Cafe and Books at 226 West Main Street, Atomwa. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Hi, this is Vince Tyson, General Manager with Citizens Mutual in Bloomfield, the area's premier broadband provider. Buffalo County, we have heard your screams of frustration. You need reliable internet, and we are proud to expand high-speed fiber internet into Wapolo County. Express your interest today by going to findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. Again, that's findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. We look forward to hearing from you and bringing you the very best internet service at Citizens Mutual, coming soon to Wapolo County. County. Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Petrito, your orthodontist in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. Many of our patients are playing in this game, and we want you to know we are happy to see you representing your school and playing hard. If you haven't been in to see us yet, please call our office for an appointment. Your first appointment is always free. From start to finish, we are here for you every step of the way. We specialize in giving you a great smile and bite. We look forward to seeing you soon. Our team is cheering for you in today's game. Tumwa High Basketball, our first girls-boys doubleheader of the season tonight on KBIZ and on the live video stream. We're on the road, but not very far down the road, just a few miles down Highway 34 in Fairfield. The last time the Tumwa and Fairfield girls and boys teams met, as a matter of fact, was December 10th of 2019, two seasons ago. And in that girls game, Tumwa knocked off Fairfield 60-35. to That was when Tumwa had that senior core of Kaylee Bix, Katie Nelson, Ali Bukanovich, Grace Bukanovich. Casey Nickerson actually was injured, did not play that game, but the other four dominated the Trojans. Fairfield started three sophomores, Delaney and Danielle Breen, as well as Mallory Lyon, all of whom will start tonight as seniors. OHS and FHS, as we said a few moments ago, did not meet last season thanks to pandemic issues. So Fairfield's had to wait an extra year for a shot at snapping its home was modest two-game winning streak in the series. Tumwa had a couple of players who are on tonight's roster appear in that game two years ago. Kennedy Hugan and Addison Ransom both came off the bench two years ago. They are in tonight's starting lineup as this new look Tumwa team looks for its first win of the season. We talk a lot about the Tumwa freshmen here on these broadcasts. Time for our annual, or not annual, our um, not daily either because we're not on the air every day, but the, uh, the pregame show freshman report, which we do every show, and there's not a lot to say after Thursday's game, although the fact that Olivia Cora missed the game meant that Atoma started three freshmen for the first time this season, and Riley Heinbaugh earned her first career start. She will come off the bench tonight, but still play a vital role, as she has in all of Atoma's games so far this year. And getting the start means Heinbaugh now has a chance to join her Aunt Rachel as a four-year starter for Atoma. Now, Heinbaugh... We don't know if she'll get another start over the course of the season. There's a long way to go. Still 19 games to play for the Atomwa girls, and Heinbach could move into the starting lineup at some point if her play warrants it, or another injury could give her a few more starts. You hope nobody else gets hurt. You hope Coram is okay and doesn't have a recurrence of the issues, but it is a long season. But uh, whether Heinbach starts any more games this year or is one of the first players off the bench, she is a vital part of that Ottumwa rotation. So that is the freshman report for the Ottumwa girls before tonight's Fairfield game. We'll take another three-minute timeout, come back with tonight's starting lineups. That comes your way next on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. 
but there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier together. So let's get to know each other because together is better. The secret is out. You're invited to see the all-new scoring system at Champion Bowl. The first bowling alley in Iowa to have the new Bowler Entertainment System. Animated and themed scoring grids and backgrounds. It keeps score for a variety of game types. There's classic bowling, of course, as well as Build the Monster, Bowling Hood, Battle of the Lanes, and more. You can also video chat with any of the staff right from your bowling station. Come experience the brand new Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is now awesome. At Line X of Ottumwa, we know your truck is much more than a vehicle to you. Whether you use it for work or play, a Line X spray applied bed liner is ready for the long haul. Line X provides unmatched protection with a nationwide lifetime warranty. Want more for your truck? Line X carries accessories from WeatherTech, Bach Industry, Truxedo, Truck Gear, Lux, and Luverne Truck Accessories. The right parts and accessories to make your truck your truck. Everything is possible at Line X of Ottumwa. Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Petrito, your orthodontist in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. Many of our patients are playing in this game, and we want you to know we are happy to see you representing your school and playing hard. If you haven't been in to see us yet, please call our office for an appointment. Your first appointment is always free. From start to finish, we are here for you every step of the way. We specialize in giving you a great smile and bite. We look forward to seeing you soon. Our team is cheering for you in today's game. Hi everyone, this is Karina Drummond with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. We are a full service salon offering hair, nail, brow, lash, facial, and waxing services. We also handle weddings, proms, and other large events with multiple person makeover sessions. So contact us early to get booked for your next event. We thank all of our loyal customers for your patronage and invite all newcomers to join our salon family. And remember, looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Like Reflection Studio on Facebook and visit ReflectionStudio.com. That's Reflections with a Z. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Tumwa High Basketball, Bulldogs on the road at Fairfield tonight on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Our first girls-boys doubleheader of the 2021-2022 Bulldog Basketball Campaign. Time now to check the starting lineup for the girls' games. First for your Bulldog, Joe Vandenberg, of course, in his third season as a Tumwa High head coach. His point guard, 5'7", junior Olivia Corum, three points, four and a half rebounds per game. Also in the backcourt, 5'4", freshman Camden Krause. 5.3 points and five rebounds per game through the first three. The third guard, five foot five senior Kennedy Hugan, 2.7 points, two rebounds per game. And then up front, five foot seven freshman Hunter Caldwell, 1.7 points, four rebounds per game. And the five foot 10 senior Addison Ransom, 4.7 points and 2.7 rebounds per contest. Those are the Bulldogs. These are the Fairfield Trojans. In their backcourt, 5'6", senior Delaney Breen, 20 points and 4 rebounds per game through the first two games. She scored exactly 20 in each of their first two contests. Twin sister Danielle Breen, also a 5'6", senior, 13.5 points, 4.5 rebounds per game. The third guard, 5'8", uh, senior Brindley Allison, 5 points, 3.5 rebounds per game. Up front for the Trojans, 5'9", senior Kelsey Paca. Two and a half points, five rebounds per game, and five foot eleven senior Mallory Lyon, five points and six and a half rebounds per game. Tom was getting ready for the introduction of lineups. Fairfield appears as if they're lining up for the national anthem. So I'm guessing we're going to have the anthem here. 
for Bulldogs, Trojans. And it looks like they will line up for the anthem. So we'll take a two minute timeout here for the national anthem. And then we'll return and get you ready for tonight's opening tip on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. We all have a picture of the life we want to live, a desire to connect the work we do with the purpose. There is a way to get there, but the price of admission is money and the drive to succeed. Success takes skill. Skill takes training. Training takes work. If you're ready to live, learn, train, and connect, Job Corps is ready for you. Careers begin here. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant and your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Atumwa Bulldogs. Opa! Hello, this is Lisa Bittner, Clinic Manager with Mercy One Atumwa Family and Internal Medicine. We specialize in pediatrics to geriatrics, internal medicine, and family practice, basically from babies to grandparents. We are here for you. We want to be your primary care provider. Call us at 641-683-0800 to schedule an appointment. Mercy One Atumwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic, 522 North Hancock Street in Atumwa. Your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. Some Ohio basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. And if you're watching on the live video stream, you may be wondering where the lights went. Fairfield turns out the lights for their home team introductions. Atumwa's already been introduced. Bulldogs in the road red jerseys. White trim on the collars, white lettering Atumwa across the front. White numbers trimmed in silver front and back. Silver and white striping down the sides of the red shorts. Long time uh, Fairfield radio voice Lee Munts is the PA announcer for Fairfield now. It's good to see Lee tonight. One more introduction here. So Kelsey Pesha, the final starter introduced for Fairfield. Hopefully the lights come back on soon. There they go. They have to have the kind of lights you turn back on quickly. If you you're as old as I am or older, you probably remember those gyms with the lights that took like five minutes to actually heat up and get to full power. If they had those lights in here, you could never do intros that way. We'd be delayed starting the game. So Joe Vandenberg in his third year coaching at Tumwa, Pat Pesha, his second year coaching Fairfield. And these two teams about to meet for the first time in two seasons. Our first quarter brought to you by Canteen Lunch in the Alley, serving the best loose meat sandwiches and homemade pies in Ottumwa. 5'11", senior Mallory Lyon will jump for Fairfield. 5'10", senior Addison Ransom jumping for Ottumwa. The boys team for Ottumwa's here. They're about to head to the locker room to get warmed up or get dressed. And now the tip controlled by Fairfield. They move right to left in the opening half. Left wing open for a three, but not taking it. Danielle Breen now driving in, put up a shot in traffic, no good. Rebound tapped out. Corum wins the race to the loose ball. Good defensive start for Atumwa. Now Olivia into the front court. Left wing, Camden Krause wide open for a three. Count it. Camden Krause with a three-pointer brought to you by Shelter Insurance and Marvin Boyer, your local agent in Atumwa. Bulldogs start fast, 3-0. Left wing, Danielle Breen brings it up top, throw it right wing to her twin sister, Delaney Breen. 
They go left to Brindley Allison, back to Delaney Breen, a long three-pointer trying to answer and does. Green had been four for eight on the season from three-point range, and now five for nine, and now Fairfield picks off a pass in midcourt, three on two back the other way. Danielle Green, left-handed layup off the glass, around and down. 5-3 Trojans, again, they will press. Fairfield loves to press. Corbin in the backcourt, double team, throws it to Kraus on the left. Kraus trying to split a double team, knocked out of her hands, loose ball on the floor to get it, knocked loose again. corum has got it, up ahead to Ransom, bounce it right side, Caldwell, pulls up with the elbow, lob it back to Ransom, kick out to Hugan, up top to Kraus, a shot fake. Right side for Corum for a three, off the glass, no good. Rebound though, run down by Kennedy Hugan. Atomo resets, Fairfield in a 2-3 zone. Corum back behind the volleyball line to set the offense. Go right side to Kraus. Down to the corner for Hugan. Kennedy gets it back to Kraus. Get it into the free throw line for Corum. Left or to Ransom. Now left side to Corum. Back to the elbow. Caldwell right wing to Kraus. Back up top. Corum. Left side. Low pass to Hugan, but she hangs on underneath to Ransom in the block. Double teamed. Kicks it out to Hugan. Shot fake. Dribbles free throw line. Kick it right side for Kraus. Kraus dribbling baseline underneath the hoop, knocked out of her hands, out of bounds. It'll stay with the or stay with the Tumwa. 6:09 to go, first quarter. Tumwa down a pair, 5-3 early. Corum to trigger the inbounds pass. Throws it left side for Hugan. Kennedy called for the bunny hop. I want to get slow mo video on these calls. That one may be a little more acceptable than some of the other calls I saw where a foot was clearly on the ground, but that was borderline. So Fairfield with the ball and a two-point lead into the front court. Brindley Allison throws it right wing. Danielle Breen. Hugan knocked it out of her hands. Breen gets it back, drives baseline, jump stop, put it up, contact, foul, and she'll shoot two. Foul is on Ransom, her first. First of the game on either team. Danielle Breen gets to the line a lot. 10 of 16 on the season. First one here, too strong. She's already driven to the bucket three times in this game, so no surprise that she gets to the line a lot. Atumwa has to cut those drives off before she gets into the paint. Second free throw is good. She has three points. Delaney Breen has the other three, and Fairfield leads at 6-3. to three. Kraus inbound to Corum. Her pass back deflected and out of bounds. Last touch by Atumwa. Bulldogs are throwing it right into a double team, and they've turned it over a couple times against this press. Now Fairfield inbounding. Danielle Breen to trigger. Gets it in to Pesha. Swing it up top to Laney Breen. Back in the right corner for Allison. Brindley Allison, one dribble, throws it to a cutting line, but the shot blocked by Ransom, and she gets the rebound. Mallory line rejected by Addison Ransom. Corum, left side to Kraus, who has the only a tumble bucket to this point. Into the high post, Caldwell. Lob it underneath for Ransom, the layup good. The high-low game works to perfection that time. Ransom the bucket, Caldwell the assist, to tumble within a point at 6-5. Daniel Breen down the lane, pull up in the lane, too strong, rebound, fought for, and ripped down by Pesha, triple teamed, and was fouled as she tried to get a pass back out to the perimeter. Atumwa had first crack at that rebound, but when they didn't secure it initially, Pesha used that height and length to get her hands on it. And that foul on Caldwell, her first, team foul number two. Inbounds goes underneath to Lyon, kick it out on the wing to Allison. And up top to Delaney Breen, a was in a man-to-man. -man. Breen dribbles right side, bounce it on the wing to Lyon. And her pass intended for Allison is thrown out of bounds because Allison started cutting to the hoop and didn't expect the pass. So Fairfield, an unforced error there. And a tumble inbounds, trailing by just a point, five minutes to go opening quarter. Kraus between the circles. The freshman goes left side for Hugan, the senior. Kennedy, a couple of dribbles, picked it up in a tough spot, got it to Ransom, drives down, lay it up, rolled off the rim, no good, fighting for her own rebound. Corum saves it, a deflection though, and it's picked up by Pesha for Fairfield. Here comes Danielle Brain, long pass right wing for Allison. Drive in, bounce pass underneath, out of bounds. Mr. Target there, wanted Pesha under the hoop, couldn't connect. Little pressure applied by Atoma there, help forcing that turnover. Corum into Kraus, and that pass knocked away, but the layup on the other end by Breen, no good. The rebound deflected out of bounds, and it will 
stay with the Tumwa, and head coach Joe Vandenberg wants a timeout for 31 first quarter. Dogs down a point. Back in 30 seconds on the Tumwa Radio Sports Network. We know now more than ever how important high-speed fiber internet is to our customers, ranging from at-home work, at-home schooling, and all of your online gaming and streaming requests. We have you covered, but don't wait. Our springtime queue is filling up fast, and I want to help you get your name on that list. Call me, Samantha, your local Lisco sales rep at 641-209-5400. That's 209-5400. Or visit our website at www.lisco.com. Basketball brought to you by Josh, Brenda, and the team at Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. By Dr. Dwayne Petrito at Petrito Orthodontics in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa, where they want to give you a smile that lasts a lifetime. Call today for an appointment. And by Sonic Drive-In, featuring made-to-order American classics, signature menu items, and speedy service from friendly car hops. Cruise on over to Sonic on North 63 next to Walgreens for the ultimate Sonic experience. Fairfield decides not to press after the Ottumwa timeout, and the Bulldogs bring it up the court. Trailing 6-5. to five. Now Kraus trapped in midcourt, but gets her wing to Corum. Underneath the ransom, tough catch. Fires across to Hugan, and her shot blocked out of bounds. Boy, no, arg no argument from the Atumwa bench, but I'm not sure how there wasn't contact there. But anyway, it's a tumble ball. Corum to inbound. Looking, throws it up top, and it'll go into the backcourt untouched, and Hugan will run it down. Kennedy back into the front court. Fairfield now picks up man-to-man. -man. Corum a bobble on the handoff, but corrals it. Tough pass to Kraus. Fairfield really pressuring here. Kraus back up top to Caldwell. Long jumper, back iron, no. And the rebound controlled by Mallory Lyon. Here come the Trojans. Danielle Breen, right side to Laney Breen. Laney shot fake, a drive, got all the way to the rim. Shot blocked, the ricochet went to Pesha. The putback, no, got her own rebound. Put it up again, no. Got her own rebound again, kick it out. Danielle Breen, a... Right-handed three, no. Long rebound to Hugan. Fairfield had three bites at the apple there and came up with nothing. Gorham trying to settle things down for Atumwa. Picked up her dribble, needs some help. Now a backdoor pass intended for Hugan, a little too long, and it ricochets to Breen. Delaney Breen back the other way. Between the circles, right side, Danielle Breen left open but didn't shoot. Now in the corner for Pesha. Underneath to a cutting. Allison missed the layup. And a collision. Pesha ran into Lyon. Lost the rebound. Now crossed the other way for Atumwa. Dribbles in. Kicks it on the wing. Corum for a three in the lead. Two strong rebound to Brinley Allison. Allison long pass into the front court behind the defense. Uh, pardon me, was Lyon. And she lays it in. And it's 8-5 Fairfield. Atumwa missed an opportunity there. Krause tried to split a level team, again lost it. Lob underneath the line, kicks it out. Breen for a three, Delaney Breen got it. All of a sudden, it's an 11-5 11 11 lead, I should say, for Fairfield. Long pass to Ransom to get out of that early double team. Now to Kraus, picked up her dribble, gets it. Tried, got across the timeline, but had to get rid of it and threw it to Corm, who hadn't yet crossed the timeline. It's almost turns it over again, over and back. Subs for Tumwa. Riley Heinbaugh and Briley Yeager, the two freshmen, check in. Fairfield with the substitution. Anna Dunlap, a 5'5 senior, is in for the Trojans. Now Breen picked up her dribble near midcourt. Goes left side for Dunlap. Into the corner, Pesha. Pesha tried to drive, and Ransom poked it out of her hands and out of bounds. 2 17 opening quarter. Bulldogs down 11-5. Danielle Breen to throw the inbounds pass. Delaney wears one, Danielle wears ten. Delaney Breen has it on the wing, underneath to Lyon. Kick it across the lane to Pesha. Not sure where to go with it. Now trying to drive on Ransom, cut off. Kick it on the wing to Danielle. Breen a baseline drive, a pull up, no, but a foul as Heinball fouled her from the side. Ransom acted as if she was going to stay with her defender there. Then a little jab step caused Breen to pull up, but then the foul from the side on Heinball. Three fouls on a tum one, none on Fairfield in this opening quarter. Breen's free throw is good. 12-5. Sub for a tumble here. Nellie Morgan checks in, replacing Ransom. 
Find it a little hard to believe that Fairfield is pressing. Keeps getting bumps and deflections in the backcourt. They haven't called a foul on Fairfield yet. Second free throw good. 13 to five the score. Inbound to Jaeger. Double team trying to get out of it and gets tied up by Mallory Lyon. The arrow will keep it with the Bulldogs. 2-0-1 to go in the quarter. But Atumwa having real trouble getting out of the backcourt after made baskets. Jaeger will throw the inbounds pass from the sideline. Comes into Heinbaugh. Try to go left, stolen by Dunlap. Lob underneath to Lyon, off the glass, way too strong with the weak side rebound to Laney Breen, kick to Pesha, jumper too strong, left side, rebound batted out of bounds. It'll go back to Atumwa. Bulldogs down eight here, could be worse, but Fairfield has not shot well in this opening quarter, and Atumwa, when they're not giving up easy points off steals, they've played well defensively. Caldwell up ahead to Kraus, and now Atumwa can break the press. Kraus right side for Heinbaugh, backs it out, keeps the dribble, brings it up top, Try to throw it to Jaeger. That's knocked away by Dunlap. Jaeger gets it back in the backcourt across the timeline to Kraus left wing. Pull up three. Too strong. Rebound on the floor. And controlled by Pesha. Under a minute and a half to go opening quarter. Danielle Breen between the circles. Top of the key. Goes it right side to Dunlap. In the corner for Lyon. Lyon out to the wing. Up top for Breen. Left wing Dunlap. Back to Delaney Breen, a three on the way, too strong, long rebound is run down by Lyon. Kind of got away with a the travel there, it looked like. Up top, Danielle Breen now. Left side for Dunlap. Dunlap dribbling right, back left, poked away by Jaeger, got it back. Threw it behind her to Delaney Breen, up high on the left side. Under a minute to go, ball goes left corner to Dunlap. Baseline drive and a reach-in foul on Jaeger. First one on Briley, team foul number four. Four fouls on a tum one, none on Fairfield, and I wonder if Coach Vandenberg is saying something about the foul discrepancy to the official. Brindley Allison back in for Fairfield. Delaney Breen will, seat, so will sit, so when I say Brindley, or Breen now, it's only Danielle. Inbounds comes up top to Dunlap. Lamp over to the right side. Lyon, a shot fake on nobody in particular. Now throws it back in the corner to Pesha. To a cutting green, back to Pesha. Up top, shot fake by Allison. Over to Pesha, left side to Dunlap. Back up top to Breen. Is Fairfield going to hold for one here? Right side it goes to Allison. They run a weave. Left side, Dunlap tries a three. It's an air ball. And it's saved, but right to Riley Heinbaugh. Heinbaugh racing into the front court, shadowed by Pesha. Picked up her dribble, but... Lyon come over to cut her off, and Heimaugh didn't see her. The deflection goes back to the Trojans. Ten seconds. Left side is Allison. Up top to Breen. Left side to Pesha. Inside the three-point line. Now outside three-point line to Breen. Driving in. Jumper in the lane. No. Rebound knocked away, but time expires. 13-5, Fairfield after one. One minute, and we're back on the Atomal Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. It's more than an education. It's more than a degree. William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Opportunity in a diverse student body. Opportunity in a staff that works with your budget. Opportunity in over 30 programs of study. Opportunity in a classroom where your voice is heard. Find your future and the opportunities waiting for you. Start your planning today at wmpen.edu and see why William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Start of the second quarter in our girls game tonight. Fairfield 13, Atumwa 5. Bulldogs have Ransom, Morgan, Hugan, Jaeger, and Corum on the court right now. For Fairfield, it's 
Danielle Breen dribbling on the right wing, now trying to drive in, stumbled, put up a shot no good, rebound, volleyballed around multiple times, players racing for it, and finally Jaeger just took it away from Mallory Lyon, gets it over to Corum, and it's humble back the other way. Jaeger just wanted that ball more in the end. It goes back to her left wing. Dribbles top of the key, kick it right side for Corum, back up top to Jaeger. Into the high post for Morgan, and a reach-in foul. Or they call that a held ball. Pacia was reaching behind her back with one hand, and they give her a held ball for that. I, that defies the laws of physics. Arrow does keep it with a Tumwa. Now Corum trying to get it in. Lob it up top for Hugan, high on the right side. Hugan's pass back in the corner, and oh, Corum just fell down, and she is in some pain. She caught the pass and then just collapsed to the floor. The ball went out of bounds, and Olivia's on the floor down there, and I can't see clearly, but she is holding her left ankle. Remember, she missed Thursday's game with what a tumble coach has called load management, just kind of trying to manage a, a nagging leg issue, but this is something, I, I don't know if that's related at all. This could be she just turned an ankle. But they're over there looking at Olivia Corum right now. Let's take a 30-second injury timeout and return on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. Godfrey's Ale House is Atumwa's premier sports bar and restaurant with something for everyone. Whether you're wanting to have dinner with the family or meet up with friends to have some drinks while watching the game on the TVs, Godfrey's is the place to be. You can even kick back and unwind on their patio with a few drinks after a day at work. Godfrey's stands out for their inviting atmosphere, delicious food, and friendly service. Experience it for yourself at Godfrey's Ale House across from North High V in Atumwa. After Olivia Corum had to be helped to the sideline, we resume play. Fairfield with the ball, leading a ton with 13 to 5. Mallory Lyon dribbles to the right side, up top to Delaney Brain, who's back in. Right side for Kelsey Pesha. Pesha back in the corner for Lyon. Tumble playing good man to man defense. Hugan with the deflection, but they couldn't find it. And it was grabbed by Lyon. Nellie Morgan tried to get in there and accidentally hooked the arm of Lyon. That's a foul on Morgan, her first. Team foul number five. And five fouls on a Tumwood, none on Fairfield. And Fairfield's the pressing team. I'll let you do the math. Inbounds to Breen. Long two foot jumper is good. Delaney Breen has eight points. Fairfield leads by 10, 15 to 5. Krause against that pressure in the backcourt. Tried to throw it ahead to Ransom and threw it out of bounds. A Tumwood's. Tumwood's got to find some better passing angles in the backcourt here and not pick up their dribble in tough spots. Two subs coming for the Trojans here, or one sub, I suppose. Hannah Berggren, five foot six senior. Ball goes left side to Breen. Delaney Breen in the corner for Bergen, who just came in. Back to Breen on the left wing. Skip it right wing for Lyon. Up top for Brindley Allison. Dribbles left side of the lane. Jump stop off the glass, too strong. Lyon the rebound, put back, no. Rebound on the floor, and this time a rebounding foul on Fairfield. Lyon gets the first foul called on Fairfield this entire game. It comes at the 6.20 mark of the second quarter. Somewhere down 15-5. to five. They haven't scored since a ransom layup. Ball goes into the high post. Nellie Morgan drives right in, puts it up. No, and the rebound to Lyon. Well, Nellie wasn't afraid to go in there, but couldn't get the shot to go. Right side it goes for Anna Dunlap. Under heavy pressure from Jaeger. Get it over to Lyon. Lyon up top to Breen. Had time to set up for a three, hit it. Boy, you, you cannot give her that kind of space. It's her third made three of the game, 18 to five. This is a 12-0 run right now for Fairfield. Krause between the circles. Right side handoff to Hugan. Hugan down to the corner, lob it underneath. Morgan, a tough catch. Kicks it out to Kraus, three on the way right wing, off the back iron, no, and the rebound pulled down by Lyon, fouled over the top by Morgan. Yeah. 
Morgan, a quick two fouls here in the last minute or so. Team foul number six on Otumwa. Heinbaugh and Caldwell back in. Hugan and Morgan head to the bench. 5.30 to go second quarter. Racing into the front court is Allison. Left side for Danielle Breen. Up top to Laney Breen. Dribbles right, spins down the lane, split defenders, missed the layup, weak side rebound to Lyon, her putback blocked, and Heinbaugh's got the rebound underneath. Riley Heinbaugh racing into the front court left side. Tried to get it underneath the Caldwell, pass deflected, and Natoma turns it over again. Now Breen, throw it left side for Bergeron to the wing, Allison. Skip it right side, Danielle Breen. Breen drives to the baseline, layup. No, rebound deflected and saved by Breen. Kick it out to Bergen right wing. Up top, Delaney Breen got another look at a three. Left that one short. Long rebound, though, ricochets to Allison. Over to Bergen. Right baseline, Lyon. Puts the shot fake up. Now puts a shot up. Good defense by Ransom on the miss, but another rebound to Fairfield. They get it up top to Danielle Breen. She misses. And finally, Caldwell secures the rebound. With two other Bulldogs knocked to the floor, nothing called. Now Jaeger into the front court, kick behind her to Heinbaugh. Heinbaugh throws it down to the baseline. Tough catch by Ransom. In trouble there and tried to throw it back to Heinbaugh and it went out of bounds. Timeout at Tumwa, down 18-5, back in 30 seconds on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we saw Nick. After a time was second time out, Fairfield with the ball and a 13-point lead. In the left corner with it is Kelsey Pesha, guarded by Ransom. Throw it up top to Danielle Breen. Breen thought about driving. Jaeger right with her. Kick it out to Laney Breen for a three. Got another one. Heinball was guarding Delaney Breen, but kind of tried to help off on the Danielle Breen drive. And you cannot leave Delaney Breen alone. She's got four threes. 21 to 5 the score. Jaeger drives to the baseline, cut off. Her pass out deflected, stolen by Delaney Breen. Fairfield back the other way. Ball goes right side for Allison. Up top, Danielle Breen. Back to Allison. Shot fake and a drive, nearly lost it. Was able to kick it out to Danielle. Swing it left side for Berger and in the corner, Pesha. Pesha back to Danielle Breen. Left-handed dribble down to the baseline, cut off again. Kick it out to Delaney. Up top, Allison. Right side, Berger. Back to Allison. Good closeouts right now by Atumwa. Left side to Danielle Breen. In the corner, Delaney Breen got open. Hit another one. That's five in the game. She's got 17 points overall. 24 to five, Fairfield. Kraus, bounce it high on the left side. Up top to Jaeger, left side to Heinbaugh. He tried to go into the high post, knocked away, stolen again. 2.45 to go until halftime. Danielle Breen. Left corner, Delaney Breen, this time a shot fake and a drive. Pull up in the lane is no good. Rebound out of bounds, last touched by a tumble. Subs for both teams. Hugan is back in, and Maya Fuller checks in for the first time for OHS. For Fairfield, Ashlyn Lisk, a 5'6 junior, is in for the first time tonight. Fairfield inbounding from the baseline. Throwing up top, Kraus knocked it away, but the deflection went to Danielle Breen. Breen trying to drive around Hugan, got in the lane, might have gotten away with the travel, got the jumper off, no good. Rebound underneath to Lisk, dribbles out, gets it to Allison. Long two-pointer is good. Brindley Allison has her first bucket, 26-5, and it is a 20-0 run for Fairfield. Hugan between the circles, right side for Fuller. 
Underneath, tough catch by Caldwell. Tried to kick it across to Ransom. Went awry, but Hugan got it right back to Ransom on the block. Backing down, turn around. No, but a whistle and a foul, and Addison Ransom will shoot two. And then someone can break this long scoring drought from the line. Brindley Allison gets the foul, only the second on Fairfield. Ransom at the line, two for four on the season. First free throw is up and a little too strong. Every Bulldog free throw brought to you by Allstate Insurance and David Wildbrenner, your local Allstate Insurance agent, offering financial services and insurance for auto life, home, and more. Second ransom free throw is up. And no good. Rolls off the rim. Rebound to Patient. Long pass up ahead to Breen outside the lane. Baseline jumper off the back iron and a good rebound by Caldwell. Now Krause back the other way, avoids Breen. It's in the front court, left side for Hugan. Against this zone, Kennedy into the high post for Caldwell. So turn around, put it off the glass, way too strong. Rebound, Danielle Breen. Long pass up ahead to Delaney Breen, left side. Trying to drive in, spins on Krause. Shot is off the glass and good. 19 for Delaney Breen. 28-5. Krause into the front court. Pass left side, knocked away. Krause got it back. Lisk with the deflection. Left side, driving in is Fuller. Fed it, tried to feed it underneath to Caldwell. It couldn't hang on to it out of bounds. I don't think it's any surprise that Atumwa's offense has suffered ever since Olivia Corum went down with an ankle injury. Corum is still on the sideline. She, she had her shoe off and ice on her foot for a while. Now her shoe's back on, and now she's actually going to check back in. Olivia Corum is coming back in this game, replacing Fuller. Boy, when she went down and grabbed her ankle, I thought that was it for the night. Second time in four games, Corum has left with an injury and come back. Remember, she fell hard in the Fort Madison game and missed a few minutes. Breen catches the pass in the lane, backs it out top of the key. There's the left side to Delaney Breen, right side to Lisk. One minute to go in the half. To Dunlap high on the left side, volleyball line, right side to Breen, shot fake, right on her is Corum, didn't let her get loose that time. Breen with a tough dribble, gets it behind her to Dunlap. Dunlap back to Delaney Breen in the corner. Brings it out to the wing, up top to Danielle Breen. Trying to dribble in sideways, they go left side, get it to Dunlap. Back up top to Lyon. Lyon dribbling right. Now back left on the pass to Breen towards the corner, Dunlap. Baseline drive, got around a defender and laid it in. 30 to 5. 20 seconds left in the quarter for Otumwa. Krause into the front court. Into the high post for Ransom. She'll try the jumper and got fouled on the shot. And with 13.3 seconds to go, Addison Ransom will shoot two. Ashlyn Lisk called for the foul, her first. Ransom missed her first two from the line tonight, trying to do better on these two. First free throw is good. It rolls in. And that breaks a 24-0 run by Fairfield, 30-6. Also helps the Tumble avoid being shut out in the quarter. Second free throw, and it's left short on the rim. Caldwell fighting for the rebound will get a held ball, and while Fairfield gets it on the arrow, that will let Atumwa get the ball to start the second half. Brinley Allison back in for Fairfield. Trojans can get the final shot here, leading 30-6. to six. Across the timeline. Danielle Breen over to the left side, five seconds in the corner, give and go back to Breen underneath, put the shot up off the glass and got it. And the inbounds will not happen. At the half, it's Fairfield 32, Atomwa 6. We'll take three minutes, come back and begin the halftime show, the Benchwarmers halftime show on the Atomwa Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. 
now's the time to get things done better. With unmatched protection and in-cab heating and cooling, you can shrink your to-do list no matter the weather. And with industry-exclusive GPS technology, you'll know where you are and where you need to be, even outside of cell range. So work smarter and play harder with machines as strong and versatile as you are. Polaris. Think outside. Stop into Slayton Polaris, located eight miles south and west of Pulaski. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier, together. So let's get to know each other, because together is better. Schroeder Graphics and Signs, LLC, across the road from RJ Performance, is your go-to headquarters for all things custom designed, including vehicle wraps, printing, signs, billboards, and state-of-the-art commercial lighted signs. They also do window designs, semis, and VIN DOTs, wall designs, any size of coolers, customized bag boards, custom trailers, tumblers, race cars, go-karts, off-road vehicles, and more. Realtors, contact them for your custom yard signs, too. Visit sgsignsllc.com and like them on Facebook. Schroeder Graphics, be a brand above. Performance Pipe in Bloomfield is hiring. They have three classifications open for hire, molding operators, molding setup, and a maintenance position. Performance Pipe offers a competitive benefit package, including medical, life insurance, pension plan, 401k, paid vacation, and holidays. Applicants must be 18 years or older, have a high school diploma or GED, and a valid driver's license. To apply, go to cpchem.com. Click careers, type in Bloomfield to see the details of each job and apply for the one that best suits you. Or Google Performance Pipe in Bloomfield and ask for D. Chevron Phillips Chemical Company is an equal opportunity affirmative action employer. We are at halftime. Welcome in to the Benchwarmers Halftime Show. Benchwarmers on Romer Avenue in Atumwa. Enjoy their delicious soup and salad bar with hot food items or try the daily lunch special. Don't forget their famous wings with over 20 sauces available. At the half in our girls game tonight, it's Fairfield 32 in Atumwa 6. Scoring for the Bulldogs, Camden Krause has three. Addison Ransom has three. Atumwa actually scored the first three of the game on a Krause three-pointer. They were only down six to five. And then Fairfield went on a 24-0 run over the rest of the first and most of the second quarter. Scoring for Fairfield, Delaney Breen has 19 points. She's hit five three-pointers. Seven points for Danielle Breen, two each for Anna Dunlap, Brinley Allison, and Mallory Lyon. Free throws in the first half, not a lot to speak of. A tumble one of four from the line, Fairfield three of four from the line. Fouls, Nellie Morgan has two for a tumble. Nobody else on either team has more than one. So... I mean, we know it's a young, it's a young Atumwa team. It's an experienced Fairfield team, and the Bulldogs just couldn't handle that Fairfield press for most of the first quarter and into the second. I don't think Fairfield was pressing as much after they got their big lead, and they probably won't press very much, if at all, in the second second half, leading as comfortably as they are. It also didn't help Atumwa that point guard Olivia Corum went down with an ankle injury and missed most of the second quarter. She did actually come back in for the final about minute and change of that second quarter and hopefully she's okay to continue but boy, Atumwa really struggled against the press without her. Although they were, they were having troubles before she got hurt too but it was really kind of amplified when your veteran ball handler goes out of the game as Coram did. So Atumwa down 32-6 to six at the half. Coming up after our girls game, of course, the boys game between Ottumwa and Fairfield. Bulldog boys, one of the last teams, boys teams in the state to play their season opener. They've been itching to get underway. Head coach Neil Hartz has been kind of chewing his nails down to the quick, waiting on tonight to come. It's finally here, and he hopes to show off his new look Bulldog team as they look to replace 
that great senior class from a year ago. We'll have that game coming up after the girls' game here on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Bulldog basketball brought to you by Community First Credit Union with 17 locations to serve you. By William Penn University and their Iowa Pride Scholarship, which is geared towards high school seniors. Learn how you can pay $5,000 or less per year. Visit wmpenn.edu slash iowapride to find out more. And by Family First Chiropractic on West 2nd Street in Ottumwa, delivering an elevated level of holistic care for the entire family, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure their clients receive the best results as fast as possible. That'll do it for the Benchwarmers Halftime Show. When we return, it'll be time to start the second half. Bulldogs here in Fairfield trailing 32-6 in the girls' game on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. At Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we Sonic. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier, together. So let's get to know each other, because together is better. I'm Dr. Dwayne Petrito, your orthodontist in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. Many of our patients are playing in this game, and we want you to know we are happy to see you representing your school and playing hard. If you haven't been in to see us yet, please call our office for an appointment. Your first appointment is always free. From start to finish, we are here for you every step of the way. We specialize in giving you a great smile and bite. We look forward to seeing you soon. Our team is cheering for you in today's game. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. It's more than an education. It's more than a degree. William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Opportunity in a diverse student body. Opportunity in a staff that works with your budget. Opportunity in over 30 programs of study. Opportunity in a classroom where your voice is heard. Find your future and the opportunities waiting for you. Start your planning today at wmpenn.edu and see why William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Tumwa High Basketball brought to you by Warehouse Barbecue. For great barbecue and cocktails in a fun, fast-paced environment. Whether it's dine-in, carry-out, or delivery, they'll take care of you. Make sure to download the Warehouse Barbecue app and like Warehouse Barbecue on Facebook. About ready to start the second half in our girls' game tonight. Fairfield 32, Ottumwa 6. As the two teams get ready to take the floor once again. Ottumwa will have Heinbaugh, Kraus, Ransom, Morgan and Hugan on the floor. So Caldwell and Corum, who had started, are sitting out, and Corum looks like maybe she's icing that ankle again. Getting ready for the third quarter, brought to you by Canteen Lunch in the Alley, serving the best loose meat sandwiches and homemade pies in Ottumwa. Bulldog ball moving right to left. 
Fairfield still in that zone. Left wing three for Heinbaugh, no. Rebound pulled down by Mallory Lyon for Fairfield. It's Delaney and Danielle Breen, Mallory Lyon, Kelsey Pesha, and Brinley Allison on the floor for Fairfield. Pesha in the left corner, out on the wing to Allison, up top Danielle Breen. Right side Delaney Breen, guarded by Hugan. Down on the block to Danielle, puts up a tough shot, got it to go over Kraus, who was in good position, but Danielle Breen has nine points, and Fairfield leads at 34 to six. Camden Kraus between the circles. Goes high on the right side to Heinbaugh. Riley Heinbaugh under close pressure from Breen. Skips it left side for Kraus. Underneath to Morgan who's open. Lay it up and in. Good ball movement that time. Give Kraus the assist. Nellie Morgan her first bucket of the night. 34 to 8. Danielle Breen driving left side. Cut off at the free throw line. Dribbles across the lane. Now down the lane. Laid up. Got that one to go. Breen whose specialty is penetration. Worked her way left to right, then down the lane to get her second bucket of the quarter already, 36-8. Left side pass to Hugan, underneath to Ransom, drives across the lane, fed it to Heinbaugh, out to Kraus, skip it left wing. Hugan a shot fake, drives in, tried to feed it to Morgan. Morgan trying to rip it away from Brindley Allison on the wayward pass. We get a held ball, and the arrow favors Fairfield. On the time, ball goes to Fairfield. So now... Trojans will inbound, and it'll be Brindley Allison to bring it through the, the Trojan logo in the center circle. Crossover dribble goes right to left, gets it to Delaney Breen. Shot fake, drives in the lane, pull-up jumper, banked it in. 21 now for Delaney Breen, a new season high. She'd had 20 in each of her first two games, and it's 38-8. to eight. We're not in a running clock situation yet. It's got to be a 35-point lead right now with Tumbo down 30. High post on the right side, Ransom, right elbow. Kick it left wing, tough catch for Kraus. Picked up her dribble, gets it back left side to Heinbaugh. High post again, Ransom. Lob underneath is too tall for Morgan. And, oh, they're going to say that wasn't touched as it went out of bounds. I could have sworn that a Fairfield hand brushed that ball as it went by, but no call that way. And Atum was credited, if you will, with the turnover. Skip pass right side to Mallory Lyon, trying to drive on Morgan. Cut off, goes underneath. It was intended for Delaney Breen. It went off her fingertip but then deflected off of Hugan and out of bounds so it'll stay with Fairfield. 5.58 to go third quarter. Danielle Breen to inbound. Lobs it high on the right side for Delaney Breen. Breen dribbles left down the lane. Kicks it in the corner. Long two by Allison. Too strong with the long rebound to Pesha. Kick it out to Delaney Breen for three. Missed it and a good rebound by Riley Heinbaugh. Boy, for someone who's 5'5", Heinbaugh is an excellent rebounder. And then a reach-in foul called on Brindley Allison. Second foul on Trojans, Brindley Allison first. Committed that at midcourt, kind of silly. Her second, first of the half on Fairfield. Heinbaugh to inbound. Gets it in at midcourt to Kraus. Kraus between the circles. Over to the right side, a handoff to Hugan. Hugan curls back up top, tried to get it to Heinbaugh. An uh, awkward pass stolen away by Danielle Breen, who takes it down, lays it up and in. Danielle Breen has six of the eight Fairfield points in the quarter, and it's 40 to eight. Fairfield pressing again, and Breen with a steal. Up ahead against Kraus, and a blocking foul called on Camden. Danielle Breen will shoot two. First one on Camden Kraus, first of the half on a tumble. Fairfield has stopped pressing the inbounds pass, but then it's a three-quarter court zone press. Danielle Breen at the line, three for four on the night. That one rolls in after a few bounces on the rim. 41 to eight. Hugan checks out, Briley Yeager back in. I feel like Yeager is going to get the most minutes she's played in a game this season. She's played a lot more than she did the first few. Second free throw good, 42-8. to eight. Kraus between the circles, goes left, bounces it to Heinbaugh. And Heinbaugh's pass back up top to Morgan is stolen away by Pesha, who takes it down, lays it up and in. Moitomo just... Not paying attention to who's in the passing lane way too often. 44-8. Kraus trying to go right now back left. Bounces it to Ransom, whose cross-court pass underneath the Heinbaugh connects, but then Heinbaugh's shot is blocked and out with his Pesha the other way. Goes left corner. Delaney Breen got open for a three. Missed it. 
Rebound on the floor. Allison has it for Fairfield. Threw it out to the wing. Nobody was there, but the, uh, Danielle Breen runs it down. There was a left side to Delaney Breen. Green right side to Allison in the corner. Danielle Breen, she'll try a three. Missed it, but got fouled by Yeager. And Danielle Breen will shoot three free throws. Second foul on Yeager. There's a roll reversal there. Delaney Breen is the three-point shooter of the Twins. Danielle Breen is the driver. But that time, Danielle shot the three, and while she didn't hit it, she was rewarded by getting fouled. Hits the first. Bulldog basketball brought to you by Reflection Studio next to New Care Pharmacy in downtown Ottumwa. Looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Green hits the second. Three subs for Ottumwa here. Maya Fuller, Chloe Bradley, and Hunter Caldwell all check in. Fairfield brings in Anna Dunlap. One more free throw for Breen. She got all three. 47 to eight. And Kraus secures the inbounds pass before Breen can take it away. Kraus left side. A handoff to Yeager. Curl it back up top. Get it to Chloe Bradley. Bradley fakes a couple of passes. Now goes right side for Yeager. Yeager trying to drive on Breen. Had it taken away by Danielle Breen. Fairfield back into the front court leading 47-8. We've now gone past that 35 point mark, so a running clock can affect the rest of the way. Left side for Brindley Allison, drives in, bobbled it, threw it wildly to the corner, rescued by Delaney Breen, who takes a three from there, air balls it, but the rebound ends up in the hands of Allison. That shot might have been partially blocked. Allison dry, or Dunlap drives in, misses the shot, got her own rebound, kicks it out. Danielle Breen for a three, got that one. Well, Tomo getting killed on the boards here. We haven't talked about it a lot tonight, but Fairfield's had a ton of second and third chance opportunities, 50 to eight. Jaeger left open for a three on the other end, back iron no, and a long rebound to Caldwell, tried to get it out to Fuller who wasn't ready and the pass goes out of bounds. Substitution for Fairfield, Hannah Bergeron checks back in. Hannah Bergeron. Clock ticking even with the ball out of bounds now as we've gone past the 35 point threshold for a running clock. Left corner is Bergeron. Right side to Laney Breen. To Danielle Breen, shot fake, drive in, baseline jumper, got it. Well, his third quarter has belonged to Danielle Breen. 16 in the quarter, 23 in the game. She's now outscoring to Laney Breen who had 19 in the first half. Right side pass too long for Fuller and out of bounds. Tumwa turns it over again. Hugan about to check back in. Timeout of Tumwa here, 2.14 third quarter. Back in 30 seconds on the Tumwa Radio Sports Network. Are you looking for someone to capture the special moments in life, such as senior photos, weddings, family portraits, baby pictures, or even your furry friends? Look no further than Lee's Photography in Ottumwa to schedule your appointment. Brian, Connie, and the staff at Lee's Photography have the knowledge and experience to capture your special moments and make your vision come to life. Visit them on Facebook to see the range of their work. Lee's Photography on East 2nd Street, across from the Courier in Ottumwa, for all your all-around photography needs. Tumwa High Basketball brought to you by Andrew Schroeder with Schroeder Graphics and Sign LLC. Visit sgsignllc.com and like Schroeder Graphics and Sign LLC on Facebook. Schroeder Graphics be a brand above. By Godfrey's Ale House in Ottumwa, the area's premier restaurant and sports bar. For your next meal or drink, visit Godfrey's Ale House. And by Ottumwa Job Corps Center, providing the skills you need to succeed in today's workforce at no cost to you. Visit ottumwajobcorps.gov. 214 to go third quarter. Every quarter this year brought to you by Canteen Lunch in the Alley, serving the best loose meat sandwiches and homemade pies in Ottumwa. Fairfield 52, Ottumwa 8 in our girls game. Boys game to follow. Ashlyn Lisk is in for Fairfield. In fact, they may have started clearing their bench here as much as they can. Savannah Hollander in the game. Swinging around left side, Mallory Lyon. 
Line up top to Hollander. Hollander over to the right side to Berger and tries a three, missed it, and the long rebound saved. Nope, foot was on the line, out of bounds to a tumble. Probably seeing the last of the Green sisters tonight. Fairfield doesn't have a deep bench to go to. Only 10 players listed on their varsity roster. Fuller drives in off the glass and good with a left-handed drive. Maya Fuller, her first varsity bucket, 52 to 10. Left side of the ball goes to Anna Dunlap for Fairfield. Gets it up top for Hollander, Savannah Hollander. Dribbles right side down to the baseline, try to spin on Kraus. Got the shot up, no good. Rebound, though, pulled in by Lyon, and she's fouled on the putback. Good defense by Kraus underneath, but again, another rebound on the offensive end by Fairfield. That foul is on Hunter Caldwell, her second. Team foul number three. Lyon at the free throw line. Six of 15 on the season. The first one hits the front rim, but bounces over and in for her third point. Addison Ransom back in, replacing Caldwell. Second free throw short, and the rebound to Ransom underneath. 53-10 the score. Minute 10 to go in the third. Kraus over to the right on the dribble, all the way in, lay it up off the glass and good. Camden Kraus with a nice move. Her second bucket, she has five points, 53 to 12. Right side is Lisk, up top to Hollander, left side Bergeron. Back up top to Hollander, left side to Dunlap, into the corner Bergeron. Lob underneath for Hollander, off the glass too strong, but a weak side by rebound and put back by Lyon, but she missed it, and this time Kraus gets it for a tumble. 36 seconds as she crosses half court, right wing to Fuller. Maya Fuller, one dribble, picked it up, got it on the feet underneath, countered, and the foul as Ransom lays it in. Nice cut to the basket, nice pivot by Ransom. Good pass by Fuller, and it sets up a three-point play. That foul on Ashlyn Lisk, number two on her. Every Bulldog free throw again brought to you by Allstate Insurance and David Wildbrunner, your local Allstate Insurance agent. Ransom's free throw, no good. And it hit glass with no iron. It slipped off her hand, so it'll be given back to Fairfield. 53 to 14 the score. Fairfield can hold for one here. High post is Bergeron out to the right wing Hollander. Back to Bergeron up high. Anna Bergen drives in, try to get it underneath, and it's stolen by Fuller. Then we get a tie-up. The arrow will give it to a tumble with 11.4 to go. They stopped the clock there. They shouldn't have. Supposed to have running clock, but the clock operator will let a tumble try to get a bucket here, although they got to get across midcourt. Fuller with six seconds, five. Fuller try to get it to Kraus. Kraus. Has to get a shot off. Nope, never saw the clock. 53-14 back in a minute on the Atoma Radio Sports Network. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. Cole Palace Cafe and Books invites you to stop in and try their real, not fast, fresh, never frozen, made in-house menu, which is sure to satisfy. Start your day with their fresh brewed coffee or one of their specialty drinks and a delicious breakfast. Stop in for a cup of one of their homemade soups, a sandwich, or salad for lunch. Don't forget dessert. At Cole Palace Cafe and Books, your purchases help our neighbors with disabilities learn valuable job skills. Check out their gently used books while you wait. That's Cole Palace Cafe and Books at 226 West Main Street, Atomwa. Start of the fourth quarter, Fairfield with the ball leading a tumble in our girls game tonight, 53 to 14. 
Fourth quarter brought to you by Canteen Lunch in the Alley, serving the best loose meat sandwiches and homemade pies in Ottumwa. Kennedy Hugan with the deflection there, but can't run it down the backboard. Hollander rescues it for Fairfield over to Kelsey Pesha. Pesha's a starter, but again, Fairfield does not have a lot of players on their bench as they lose it out of bounds, Dunlap losing it. In fact, the only player we haven't seen for Fairfield is Maddie Jones, a sophomore, and I suspect she'll be in shortly. She's sitting right by her head coach right now. Hugan driving in, kicks it to Ransom right side of the lane. Try to throw back out to Hugan, and she didn't see Dunlap there in the passing lane. Dunlap down the other way, a whistle. Oh, she's called for the travel. A tumble hustled back, made her pump fake, and Dunlap drug the pivot foot and traveled. So Tumwa has let's see Fuller with it left wing got it up top to Ransom Ransom right side for Sydney Rockhold the sophomore who came in at the start of the quarter ball goes underneath and I think we got a foul here on Fairfield first down on Bergen. Bergen called for the foul her first team foul number three Inbound underneath to Morgan, got loose and laid it in off a nice pass from Rockhold to give Rockhold the assist. Morgan, her second bucket, 53-16. Over to the right side, they give it to Hollander, does Fairfield in the front court. She brings it up top, guarded by Rockhold. Saw Rockhold this summer as a freshman pitcher, the third pitcher for softball, as Fuller deflects it, but it gets back to Hollander, feeds it underneath to Bergen, shot blocked by Ransom. Addison Ransom said, no, thank you. Now Fuller will bring it across the timeline. Over to the left side, picked up a dribble at the elbow. Throw it to Rockhold on the right wing. Rockhold kicks it up top to Hugan. Hugan over to the right side to Rockhold down in the corner. Dribbles into the wing, tried to feed Ransom, ball loose on the floor. It'll be tied up in the lane. Arrow favors Atumwa, 5.50 to go. Three subs for Atumwa here. Hunter Caldwell, Riley Yeager, Riley Heinbaugh back in. Maddie Jones, as we mentioned, the only player who hadn't yet played for Fairfield now checks in, the sophomore. Rockhold trying to get it in, got it to Morgan on the block, turn around in the lane, off the rim, no, rebound pulled in by Jones for Fairfield. Up ahead to Hollander in the front court left wing, feeds it to Berger and back to Hollander, long two-point jumper is good. Pardon me, that was Lisk, 15, not 25. Ashlyn Lisk, her first bucket. 55, 16, 520 to go. Lob is too tall for Morgan in the lane as Heinbaugh saw the defender in front, tried to go over the top just a little bit too high. Kind of almost have to throw that pass like it's a shot and you're just aiming for a spot on the floor instead of the basket. They go underneath to Hollander, kick it out on the wing to Lisk, who tries a three. Off the rim, no. Rebound tipped by Jaeger and controlled by Caldwell. The pass back to Jaeger, though, is wide and out of bounds. Camden Krause back in for a tumble, replacing Sidney Rockhold. Hannah Berger in inbound for Fairfield. Goes high on the right side for Jones. Up top to Dunlap. And a Dunlap around a pick right side into the corner. And a three on the way by Jones is short off the rim. Rebound to Caldwell. Gets it head to Kraus. Camden Kraus into the front court, the freshman guard. Dribbling at the top of the key. Left side, tough catch by Heinbaugh. She'll drive down to the baseline. Put the shot up, took a bump, no call. But then the rebound and putback is there by Nellie Morgan. Boy, Heinbaugh should have been at the line, but a tumble will take the bucket. 55-18. Nice Nellie Morgan. Over to the left side is Lisk, all the way down to the corner, hands it to Jones. Jones brings it back up top, gets it right side to Bergeron. Bergeron left side to Hollander. Hollander back underneath the Bergeron, poked away by Morgan. Bergeron runs it down, Morgan trying to get it again near midcourt. Fairfield finally taps it to Hollander. Right side they go to Dunlap. Dunlap brings it back up top, under pressure gets to Lisk, now right side to Matty Jones. Three and a half to go, back up top to Lisk. Fairfield with the big lead. Pass inside, knocked away by Caldwell. Fairfield gets it back again. Bergeron hits the floor. Ball goes right side instead to Dunlap. Her shot blocked in the lane, I think, by Caldwell, and the ball ends up with Morgan. 3.20 to go. Bulldogs back the other way. Kraus, left side 
for Heinbaugh. Gets it up top, Caldwell. We do have five freshmen on the floor right now for Atomo. Kraus, left side, Jaeger, shot fake to the wing, Heinbaugh. Back up top, Caldwell. Underneath, through the hands of Kraus, saves it, but right to Bergeron. And here comes Fairfield with three to go. Right side to Lisk, back to Hollander. Left side, Bergeron, in the corner, Jones. Back to Bergeron on the wing. Heinbaugh hits the floor and stays down. And they'll stop play here with Heinbaugh down on the floor in the lane near the free throw line. Not sure exactly what happened there. But oh, Riley's in some pain trying to get up. Second time an Otomo player has gone down in pain tonight. <laughs> 2.45 to go. They'll get Maya Fuller back in the game as well as Chloe Bradley. Heinbaugh to her feet and able to walk off. Hopefully just had the wind knocked out of her. Fifty-five eighteen is our score. Ball stays with Fairfield. Hannah Bergen will throw the inbounds pass. From the sideline, Tried to get it to a cutting Hollander who saves it left side to Jones. Up top Dunlap for a three, rolls in. Anna Dunlap has five points, 58-18. Under two and a half to go. Krause around a pick right side. Backs out to the wing, gets it to Maya Fuller. Fuller under pressure trying to drive, free throw line, kick it left side back to Krause. Krause. Brings it back up top, hands it to Fuller. Fuller driving in, feeds it underneath to Morgan and lays it in. Nice drive and dish by Maya Fuller. Give her the assist. Morgan has eight points, 58-20. Left side is Dunlap, up top to Lisk, right side to Hollander. Hollander back up top, left side to Dunlap again. Dunlap top of the key. Boy, Hollander hit the deck as Jaeger had to fight through a pick there. Pass into the lane, deflected, and can Atoma save it? Fuller saves it to Jaeger off the deflection. Minute 36 to go. Krause into the front court. Around a pick right side, gets it up top to Fuller. Tried to throw it into Morgan, knocked away. Morgan runs it down up top, gets it right side. They go to Krause. Underneath, nice cut by Jaeger, nice pass, the layup good. Riley Jaeger gets her first bucket of the season, her first varsity bucket. 58-22, a nice pass from Morgan. On the left side, Dunlap with a minute 10 to go. Up top, that's Bergeron. Bergeron left side, towards the corner. Now back up high on the left for Dunlap. Dunlap driving left all the way in, lay it up off the glass and good. And a Dunlap with seven, 60-22. Under a minute to go, 48 seconds and counting. Kraus around a pick right side. Pick and roll not there. Throw it left wing. Fuller has to run it down. Now Maya thinking about a drive on Lisk. Goes around a Bradley pick. Pick and roll back to Chloe. Gives it back to Fuller on the wing. Another pick. Now Maya gets in. Laid up off the glass too strong. Weak side rebound to Jaeger though. The putback good. Back to back buckets. Briley Jaeger 60 to 24. See if Fairfield runs anything. Nope. Head coach Pat Pesha telling his team just to hold it. So it looks like our final is going to be 60 to 24. No, Jones will shoot a three and hit it. Their coach was had his hands up saying no more, but Jones apparently didn't see it and took the three. 63-24. Fuller will try to answer at the other end. Off the rim, no. And that's how the game ends. Fairfield 63 and Otumwa 24. We'll take three minutes, come back, and give you the post-game totals on the Otumwa Radio Sports Network. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. 
Hi, this is Vince Tyson, General Manager with Citizens Mutual in Bloomfield, the area's premier broadband provider. Buffalo County, we have heard your screams of frustration. You need reliable internet, and we are proud to expand high-speed fiber internet into Wapolo County. Express your interest today by going to findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. Again, that's findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. We look forward to hearing from you and bringing you the very best internet service at Citizens Mutual, coming soon to Wapolo County. County. Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Petrito, your orthodontist in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. Many of our patients are playing in this game, and we want you to know we are happy to see you representing your school and playing hard. If you haven't been in to see us yet, please call our office for an appointment. Your first appointment is always free. From start to finish, we are here for you every step of the way. We specialize in giving you a great smile and bite. We look forward to seeing you soon. Our team is cheering for you in today's game. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. The secret is out. You're invited to see the all-new scoring system at Champion Bowl. The first bowling alley in Iowa to have the new Bowler Entertainment System. Animated and themed scoring grids and backgrounds. It keeps score for a variety of game types. There's classic bowling, of course, as well as Build the Monster, Bowling Hood, Battle of the Lanes, and more. You can also video chat with any of the staff right from your bowling station. Come experience the brand new Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is now awesome. At Line X of Ottumwa, we know your truck is much more than a vehicle to you. Whether you use it for work or play, a Line X spray applied bed liner is ready for the long haul. Line X provides unmatched protection with a nationwide lifetime warranty. Want more for your truck? Line X carries accessories from WeatherTech, Bach Industry, Truxedo, Truck Gear, Lux, and Luverne Truck Accessories. The right parts and accessories to make your truck your truck. Everything is possible at Line X of Ottumwa. You're watching Bulldog Basketball on the Atomwa Radio Group Sports Network. Atomwa High Basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Our girls game in the books. Atomwa falls to Fairfield by a final of 63 to 24. Let's run down the scoring. A tumble led tonight by Nellie Morgan, who had eight points. Camden Krauss had five. Addison Ransom had five. Four points for Briley Yeager and two points for Maya Fuller. Fairfield led by Danielle Breen, who had 23 points. And 16 of those came in the second half. Delaney Breen had 21 points, 19 of those in the first half. Seven points for Anna Dunlap. Three for Maddie Jones. Three for Mallory Lynn. Two for Brindley Allison. Two for Ashlyn Lisk and two points for Kelsey Pacia. Free throws in this game, Ottumwa one for five, Fairfield nine for 11. Bulldogs fall to 0-4, Fairfield improves to two and one. Fairfield will next play at Fort Madison on Friday. Ottumwa will be at home to open conference play Friday night against Des Moines East. All right, we're gonna take another three minute timeout. We do hope to hear from Bulldog head coach Joe Vandenberg. He said he'd come up and join us between games. If he's up here in the next three minutes, we'll talk to him. If not, we'll start talking about our boys game between Ottumwa and Fairfield. Three minutes and we continue with our show in between games here on the Ottumwa Radio Sports Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Petrito, your orthodontist in Ottumwa and Oskaloosa. Many of our patients are playing in this game, and we want you to know we are happy to see you representing your school and playing hard. If you haven't been in to see us yet, please call our office for an appointment. Your first appointment is always free. From start to finish, we are here for you every step of the way. We specialize in giving you a great smile and bite. We look forward to seeing you soon. Our team is cheering for you in today's game. 
everyone. This is Karina Drummond with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. We are a full-service salon offering hair, nail, brow, lash, facial, and waxing services. We also handle weddings, proms, and other large events with multiple person makeover sessions. So contact us early to get booked for your next event. We thank all of our loyal customers for your patronage and invite all newcomers to join our salon family. And remember, looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Like Reflection Studio on Facebook and visit ReflectionStudio.com. That's Reflections with a Z. Seasons change. Our priorities change. Your financial needs change. But there's one thing that remains consistent. Our dedication to making your financial life easier. Together. So let's get to know each other. Because together is better. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. We all have a picture of the life we want to live, a desire to connect the work we do with the purpose. There is a way to get there, but the price of admission is money and the drive to succeed. Success takes skill. Skill takes training. Training takes work. If you're ready to live, learn, train, and connect, Job Corps is ready for you. Careers begin here. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? Stop in and see Mike and his team at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Whether you want amazing Greek food, pasta, salads, sandwiches, fish, chicken, steak, or the best pizza in town, they have what you want. They are always open for carryout, and their full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you, Southern Iowa, for making Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse your favorite restaurant and your favorite pizza place. Proud to support the Ottumwa Bulldogs. Opa! Some will high basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream. Bulldog girls have fallen to Fairfield tonight. Our Bulldog boys game against Fairfield here in Fairfield tonight coming up as we get ready for the Atoma boys season opener. Now, I'm going to say something about me here, but uh, rest assured this is not really about me, even though I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. On December 6, 2011, some guy you'd never heard of grabbed a headset and did a broadcast of an Atoma basketball doubleheader here on KBIZ. Ten years to the day later, here I am still telling Bulldog stories. I've had the privilege to announce some amazing moments and sing the praises of so many incredible athletes and coaches, far too many for me to thank them all by name. But those young men and women are who the broadcasts are all about, and it's always been that way. These are their stories, and I'm just fortunate enough to be the storyteller. It was, is, and continues to be an honor to sit here and be the voice of the Bulldogs. Thank you to Greg List and everyone at Atumwa Radio for giving me the chance to do what I love to do. And to you, the fans listening or watching, all the families and friends of these players and everyone who loves the Bulldogs, thank you for 10 years. It's amazing to me, 10 years of allowing me into your homes, your cars, or wherever you follow the games. I arrived as an outsider, and you've welcomed me, welcomed me like one of your own. And I will always be proud to be my own small little part of Bulldog Nation. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody, because I, I realized about a week and a half ago that my 10-year anniversary was coming up, and I'm glad it fell on a night when we're on the air. So thank you to everybody. It's been a great 10 years. We've had some amazing moments across basketball, football, baseball, softball, and many more to come as well, I'm sure. So uh, still haven't seen Coach Vandenberg come up. Obviously still talking to his team after the game. Um, Annie and Brandon, let's take just a one-minute timeout, quick one-minute timeout here, and then we'll start doing our preview of the boys' game here on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. Hello, this is Lisa Bittner, Clinic Manager with Mercy One Atumwa Family and Internal Medicine. We specialize in pediatrics to geriatrics, internal medicine, and family practice. Basically, from